Hey friends, today we are playing a horror game called The Harvest. Apparently, there's some sort of ritual that takes place deep in the middle of the woods. We are a part of this ritual, and we're in charge of the materials. And I think these materials are body parts. This game was actually made for a Dread XP game jam, and the premise alone seems so out there and disturbing that I really wanted to check it out with you guys. Now, I'm recording this at the start of the Halloween season. However, by the time you guys are watching this video, it will probably be like a week or two after. And I don't know, it's gotten me nostalgic. I have really fond memories of Halloween and basically every holiday as a kid. All throughout the month of October, I would read like Halloween and scary storybooks to build up to Halloween night. I was Mario one year, I was Dracula another year. I think there were actually two years I went as Resident Evil 4 characters. One year was the chainsaw guy and the other was the uh, main villain, Sadler. And I honestly feel like my parents were almost more excited about Trick or Treat Night than I was. Like, don't get me wrong, I was extremely excited about it. But I really felt that my parents had a genuine joy taking us out, watching us get dressed up in our costumes. And then at the end of the night, they would go through the loot with us and you could tell they were excited just watching our faces light up. My grandma every year would also dress up as a witch and she would always have like spooky ambient noise uh, CD tapes going in the background. So when we visited her house on Halloween night, that was always, you know, like an experience for us. Those are memories that I will cherish forever. And if you guys celebrate Halloween too, I would love to hear your memories and your traditions. Plus, who knows, maybe we can make a new tradition together with these videos. Love you guys. With that being said, here is the harvest. Um, the game actually starts immediately, so there's no sort of menu or anything like that for us to sit in, which is why I pulled up the picture. This was a Dread XP Bone Jam uh, game jam game. We love game jam horror games. They usually take a very creative idea and bring it to life in a short amount of time. And I'm very excited to play The Harvest with you guys. Day one. Um... So we're just in some sort of a house. Actually, it looks like a a rundown shack. Um, the walls are obviously stained with blood. This building looks old. And in fact, the rooms don't really seem to serve any purpose. So it's likely that people don't even really live here. Let's go ahead and look around a little bit. Temperature. Is this a tanning bed or something? This looks like some sort of an operating table, and I can't really read that sticky note, but this is interesting. I, I wonder what exactly goes on here. Here's our first objective, though. Oh. The body. I like how all we hear is the sounds of nighttime in the background. The sounds of the crickets chirping. Do we put it in here? Oh, okay. Is this a tanning bed? Hmm. All right. Is this right? Am I supposed to cook the body? I'm just going to let that cook. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do. I guess we're disinfecting it. Oh, God. So what I want to know is what exactly is the point of this harvest? Why are we ha uh, harvesting body parts? Okay, looks like I can't... Maybe I have to bring this in or something? Okay, let's see. No, that doesn't do anything. Can't pick that up. So, what do I need to do with... 
this then? Okay, so we're gonna try that again. I think I actually broke the game somehow. So I think we're just gonna cook the body? Yeah, I broke the game somehow, immediately. Alright, now let's actually play this correctly. Um... Oh my god. So we're deliberately burning it to a crisp? Oh. What are we... We just want the bones? Oh, never mind. That's not all we want. We're... Wait. No, we're removing the bones. Okay. We are taking these dead bodies that came from who knows where. Burning them to a crisp. Removing the bones. Cutting them up. And... Again, using a new body for each of these different individual parts that we're gathering. And... Placing them... on another body? But why? It's like we're creating some sort of Frankenstein's monster, basically. Except this all looks very methodical. And I'm wondering why this is even taking place. Alright, well, yeah, let's collect the bones. We're not going to need those, I guess. Grab the hacksaw. Chop it up. This time we'll grab an arm. Oh, my god. Day three. So this is gruesome for sure. But my question is why? What is the point of doing this? Are we like going to resurrect some being? You know, like, you know, like Frankenstein's monster. And does it matter? That they all come from different bodies? Because the bodies kind of all look the same. Like, once we put all the parts together, the creature basically just looks like, you know, one of these things. These two doors don't open. Yeah, why are we doing this? So, let me go ahead and get the right leg. And this building is clearly just for this purpose. Okay, bones, um, we'll take the hacksaw, right leg, day four, day four, this is a routine at this point, so I guess each new day, whatever this group is, is having to get a new body? All right, well, enjoy your nap there. We done? Good. I'm still wondering what the purpose of this is. Grab the bones. We'll do the hacksaw and grab the head this time. Can I grab it? No, I can't. I guess they wanted to do the head probably last. What does this say? Just sticky notes. For no reason. Day five. Okay. This should give us something here. Because I want to know more about why this is happening. Put it here. I can hear some flies, too. Obviously, I feel like flies in an area like this is... Definitely not uncommon.
And who did we see earlier, like a couple days ago? And good. Done. Cooked. I can't imagine the smell. Probably completely vile. Grab the head. What do you want? Do you not want me here? That's it? Okay, I thought that was it, but I actually think there's a bit more to the story. Check this out. So, this is the image that they flashed for about a second or two at the very end of the game. Take a close look at this picture, what do we see? Look in the background here. The floor, the walls, the doors. This looks like the building we were just in. Would you agree? I certainly would agree. So all along the walls, this is a, you know, similar, and it's, it's, it's easy to assume that this was the building we were just in. But if we take a close look at this thing, this is likely the body that we were trying to, I guess, resurrect that was made up of the different parts of each of the different bodies that were brought into the shack. But if you look closely, doesn't the inside look mechanical? We can see what looks like maybe that, you know, burned and charred tissue around the, you know, around the body itself. But... The arm that's hanging down, that looks like robotic. That looks like it's made of metal with wires. It has an eye in the center of its head that looks lit up. I guess that's why the bones were removed from all of the bodies that were brought together in order to create this thing. Now, I don't know exactly what the purpose of it is, but... I think there's a bit more going on than just, oh, creepy thing happening. It seems like the entities that appeared at the end were a surprise to, obviously, both ourselves, but also our character. It seems like that this Nightly Harvest, as the game's um, uh, store page described, this is a routine thing for our character. And maybe that group caught wind of this, possibly, and knew that they were either gathering body parts or reanimating bodies in some way, and they wanted to kind of hijack that for their own purposes. I don't remember seeing any sort of metalwork or metal parts in that building. They were likely brought, you know, from an outside source, maybe those four entities. I don't know, but... It's it's almost like a different take on the whole Frankenstein thing. I don't know what the purpose is in terms of, you know, creating a creature that seems to be made up of, you know, human parts, but also a lot of robotic parts. I don't know. But I felt like it was worth mentioning because I always like to leave you guys with stuff to think about. And maybe if you're trying to theory craft in your own head what was actually happening here... This might be some useful information because I dismissed this image at the end, but I pulled it up and I looked at it and I was like, wait a minute, where did, the, where, where, where did all this, this metal work come from? Um, I almost thought it was like, you know, a developer logo or something like that, you know, something like that. Um, but when I looked at the house around, I was like, oh, wait, no, this looks like the area we were just in. Um... It's important to mention, we don't know what was behind that other door. We know one of the doors led to the outside, but that other door that we couldn't go in, I have no idea what was behind that door. Could have been all the metal parts for this. Who knows? I'd love to hear your theory about this game, guys. I still think the ending was a bit like, um, you know, maybe not as big of a payoff as I wanted. 
I wanted to maybe know a little more about what was going on, but it's still fun to talk about it together and kind of come up with our own theory. So, uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video still. I love you very much. Please be safe, and I'll see you in the next one.